Hi friends, this is Gani. Today I'm I'm going to explain you how to create and plate 144 connection just like this type of connection and this type of connection. Okay, before going to create this type of connections, for more Tecla related videos, go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk this is my channel here you can find out so many tecla related videos here please come and watch here please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when i upload new videos okay let's start okay before going to create this type of connection uh, i'm going to create column at this moment click on this column icon and click where you want to place this column i'm going to place here and double click it and i'm going to change the length top is 30 feet and bottom 0 modify it similarly i'm going to place another column at this location click on column and pick the position and i'm going to place beam also similarly pick the first point and second part of the beam like that uh, pick the middle point of the column and here here you can see now this is the column and beam placement uh, after that i am going to uh, create and play 144 connection and here go to the application and components by using the shortcut control f press control f then it will uh, this window will be opened like this and go to the steel detailing and then beam to column connection here you can see this is the end plate 144 connection click on it and close this window and select the column and after that click the beam then default this end plate connection that will be generated like this and double click on it for modification double click on it Here, if you uh, you want to change this end plate thickness uh, as you require, for example, I am going to change this is half inch thickness. Go to the plate tab here, end plate thickness. Enter here the half inch thickness and modify it. Uh, here you can see the result here. Now this uh, this thickness should be half inch. For length and width, uh, for controlling the length and width of the plate, uh, go go to the bolts tab here and here you can change the bore size uh, for example i'm going to take uh, uh, one inch uh, three by four inch dia bolt and standard uh, 325 and you can choose as you require the bolt size and standard and tolerance also modify it here you can see the result here the bolt uh, click on modify now the, the this the so board size should be 3 by 4 okay uh, here you can see uh, this top indicates the uh, top of the beam to first bolt distance uh, if you need this bolt at the middle uh, you can change from top to middle and modify it now uh, these bolts are at the middle of the beam For that I'm going to change this length uh, length of the base plate and number of bolts from controlling from here uh, I'm going to take a four inch edge distance and the number of bolts are three and distance between the uh, bolts distance between bolts are four inches for example I'm going to take four inches and become modified here you can see here Four indicates the top of the plate to first bolt distance, uh, and three indicates the number of bolts one, two, three, and then four indicates the distance between bolts are four, and here also four. And this four indicates the uh, distance from bolt to edge of the plate four, and total plate should be 16 inches now. From counting this four, four. Uh, from 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 total 16 inches uh, you can control this length of the plate from uh, here and for let width of the plate 
I'm going to uh, use control to uh, for so solid to just a glass view here you can see use control 2 hold control and 2 button then you, you will see this like of like visibility okay now I am enter here 2 is the edge decisions and number of bolts I am going to take 2 and uh, distance between 2 bolts are um, take 3 and then edge distance 2 and click on modify here you can see uh, this 2 indicates the edge to first bolt distance and then 2 indicates the number of bolts and 3 indicates the distance between the 2 bolts and these 2 indicates the edge distance bolt to edge of the plate you can control from here for example I am going to take 1.5 inch and 1.5 inch edge distances and uh, number of uh, distance between bolts are I am going to take 4 and modify here you can see the result where I click on modify you can see result from here modify now the spacing change according to these values you can control like this from here you can change number of bolts as per your requirement you can change, adjust this width and length of the plate and number of bolts also okay. if you need any stiffness at here I'm going to press ctrl F for solving view uh, if you need any stiffness from here, uh, go to the stiffness tab. Uh, here, top, near side, top, far side, bottom, near side, bottom, far side. If you enter here the thickness of the stiffener, it will generate here. Just I'm going to take stiffener thickness 3 by 16. For example, I'm going to take 3 by 16. 3 by 16. And 3 by 16. When I hit, click on modify, you can see the result here. The stiffness will be generated at this location. Click on modify. Here you can see these are the stiffness. Uh, if you don't need this stiffness, you can enter the, here zero value. Then stiffness will be gone. Click on modify. Here you can see now the stiffness is gone. If you require, then enter the value here. Thickness of the stiffness. by 16 and modify like that we can control from here uh, this is the end plate one type of uh, connection it modify apply okay apply indicates that you can uh, use the same values for the next time apply okay and click on space and right click on mouse and edit review for clear visibility okay come here and um, use the same option here go to the application and components and select the end on double code and close it click the column and then rafter here you can see you can see the same type of connection here also if you need this type of connection then you can use the same macro and play one double code. I'm going to take go to the application of complex so once again by using the shortcut control F and select the end plate one double code connection and close it and select the column first and then after select the beam. Okay. If you want to change the number of bolts and at this location stiffener, you need a stiffener, then double click on the component once again and here go to the bolts tab uh, i'm going to take the edge distance is 2 and number of bolts are 5 and uh, edge distance is 2 and number of uh, uh, distance between bolts are for example i'm going to take uh, 6 mod weight here you can see You can see the uh, bolts under types of this connection. Uh, you can control this bolt distance from here. For example, the two indicates the edge distance. If you need uh, from this bolt to this bolt is four inches. For example, instead of six, 
then enter here 4 and give the space and 6 and 6 and then 4 uh, this 4 this 4 indicates the this distance and then 6 6 and then 4 and then click on modify here you can see the change from here you can change like that for example i'm going to take uh, instead of 4 4 and 5 and 5 4 and modify it you can make like this also as per your requirement you can change the number of boards and the distance between boards also okay up to now we have seen how to control this width and length and number of boards and this stiffener what about this stiffener go to the hunch tab here this top plate and bottom plate top plate indicates this plate stiffener and bottom plate indicates this stiffener okay enter here thickness you can control this thickness from here enter 3 by 6 for example i am going to take the 3 by 16 thickness but top and bottom plates and modify it here you can see the result here modify now that this thickness should be 3 by 16 you can control this chamfer value from here as you require you can enter the value from here and you can control this uh, width and length from here also for example i am going to take uh, 5 inches and 5 inches and modify here this b this value indicates this direction uh, if you leave blank then then the, this uh, b value indicates the uh, up to it will take up to the length of this uh, plate if you if you can control this length length of the plate from here if you need 5 inches i am going to enter the 5 inches and modify it uh, you can see the here the result this it should be 5 inches now i am going to take 4 inches then uh, when i click on modify you can see the result from here i am going to click on modify here you can see it should be 4 inches like that you can control this uh, stiffener also from hand stiffener here these options Once completed, you want to um, use this kind of these values and properties to, to the uh, he, at this location also. Then modify, apply, use apply, and OK. Once again, uh, click on space and redraw view it for clear visibility. Go to the application components and select this connection and close it and select the column and then B. Here you can see. These connection also this property and thickness and values are similar to this connection. Like that you can also uh, apply this connection uh, number of times. How many uh, how many times you require you cannot uh, use these values by using the uh, option apply. Otherwise you can also save this uh, save these values by using the save as. Uh, you can enter the any uh, file name and then uh, you can easily identify that file for example i'm going to take this one and plate type one or type one okay save as you can see in the in this uh, list uh, and plate type one is here you can load the values and you can use any times any number of times modify apply okay you can use this value okay this is the end plate one double four connection if you have any doubts please comment below uh, please go to my channel youtube.com slash gunny sk please click on subscribe if you subscribe you will get updates when i upload new videos thank you